Hey guys, this is Shobhik Mitra. You are watching High Tech Review. So today is the benchmark review for the Max AX8. The model number is AX8 and it's a QHD device, dual core device, all of course, and also have a premium finish. You can see. Also have a 8 megapixel camera and the front 2 megapixel camera and it's also have a QHD display which is very interesting in the budget range the phones come in a budget range of 4000 to 4500 which is pretty low and it give a good uh, premium look and a premium device at this budget range if you don't judge by the max company name so let's start the benchmark review of max so we already see Antutu is running and it's give uh, the score around 8000 uh, 8, it's a not too bad so let's check the device information it's running on a MediaTek MT6577 chipset which is on the 1 GHz power processor dual core processor the resolution of display is a QHD resolution you can see it and also have a 8 megapixel back camera and a front camera of uh, 2 megapixel and this device also come with a 512 MB of RAM and 4 GB internal storage and so and for VRSGX 531 GPU so let's uh, start another benchmark so let's uh, hit the multi touch tester first so let's check how much touch point it recognizes so you can see this device recognizes 5 point multi touch display which is pretty good in a budget range of 4000 to 4500 and let's hit the min, in, 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 nina mark i'm sorry guys so let's uh, start the nina mark and it's giving 23.2 uh, fps let's run it once again Previously it scored around 23 FPS, so let's check how it scored right now. The viewing angles are okay in this device. It's also scored 23.7 FPS, nothing much than that because it's running on QHD display resolution. So let's see the quadrant standard right now and let's go to the system information first. So this device is running on Android 4.0.4 version and uh, the model ID is AX8 Android and manufactured by Max uh, ARM V7 processor, it's Cortex A9 processor, 1 GHz maximum frequency and minimum frequency is 250 and uh, out of uh, 512 MB RAM you get around 480 MB of RAM which is once again good for a budget range device and display resolution is 540 into 960 which is QHD resolution and the GPU support by PowerVR is GX531 so let's check the sensors uh, you have a Yamaha orientation sensor, Yamaha magnetic field sensor which is also work in this device it have a magnetic sensor and also access accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor and light sensor so pretty amount of sensor in this uh, budget oriented device so let's go to the quadrant standard and run a full benchmark first. The battery is 1850 mAh which is give you around of uh, I think I guess what kind of uh, one day or one point half day.
So here is the Quadrant score 2780, not so special but good for a budget oriented device. So this is Shovik Mitro saying you goodbye, I am going to quickly come with a benchmark review also and a camera review dedicated. Uh, so please visit my channel and subscribe my channel. If you like my videos then like, please share your comments and like it. So this is Shovik Mitro signing off now. So say you thanks for watching.